Welcome to a bit of a shorter episode, at least compared to yesterday's. You guys have really been loving the long form content, which is the opposite of how it is supposed to work, but I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for checking out the channel and for sharing the videos to your friends. Let's get started. Welcome Digities to another good look at the science update to Kerbal Space Program 2 where we have been learning a lot about all the kind of new updates that they have added to the game. They have gotten rid of a lot of the jankiness and a little bit of like tweaking and strengthening to all the different joints and attributes to the get of the vessels and science and everything that they've added to the game has been showing nothing but love and support from the development team. So hey, thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for checking out Kerbal Space Program 2. Thank you for learning a little bit about science. Thank you for learning a little bit about space. And this is episode two. We did uh, an episode one yesterday and we were kind of taking a first look at it and taking a look at kind of learning a lot what the numbers mean and really taking a look at what the science tree has to offer. And we're trying to get to the North Pole, which is probably going to be try to be our primary objective today. It's still trying to get to the North Pole. That is going to be our objective. However, I've thought about something because they have not implemented the funds yet. They have not implemented money into the game just yet. This is primarily just a science part of the game. I think that we're going about this entire thing all wrong. We need a brand new approach. And by a brand new approach, I mean that if budget is not going to be constraints nor an issue in terms of like being able to have a sizable rocket, then why don't we just make a <clears throat> sizable rocket? <laughs> you know, why don't we just make a sizable rocket then? So let's go ahead and take along with uh, we'll, we'll have our final stage be this little reliant or a swivel engine with a little bit of fuel here for just a little bit of a, you know, kind of actuation capabilities being able to uh, change your direction with the thrusters and see what not have a little bit of control over it we're gonna need our parachute let's not forget our beautiful beautiful parachutes that we seem to consistently have issues with because we cannot like slow down in time they don't like to deploy we did have an issue last time where it did seem to have an issue where like i did have to reload the game to get the parachutes to work properly they were not deploying for some odd reason they were they were armed they had the correct settings and you know, maybe it was have a little bit of do with altitude or something of the sort, but they did not quite like to release. So, you know, we not, we want to make sure that we are completely fully encased and ready to go. Oh, let's see, do we have any heat shielding for this thing? I don't think so. So hopefully we're not going to be coming in necessarily too fast because that is going to be, as that's going to be something else. I mean, let's may as well just put a couple wings and stabilizers on this thing. Just that way we can go ahead and keep this thing stable and go ahead and keep that front side almost looks like a little bit of a plane as well again you know what i mean honestly we don't even really need it but i almost want it just to slow us down as we come into the atmosphere because this could be an issue of you know what honestly i almost want a reaction control system going on here keep a little reaction control and we also need now that i think about it we are going to need our science junior our little kind of science junior environmental survey because we are going to be trying to go straight up right if, if money is not going to be a constraint then we may as well just add in a whole bunch of engines. However, we can do this in an educational and smart way. Instead of just trying to do this all in a single stage like so, why don't we go ahead and actually, is there a way to drag myself down? Yes, there is. I remember how to do it. Why don't we go ahead and put a whole bunch of decouplers on this thing? Let's say, I think we can probably fit, can we fit six? I think six might be a little excessive, but can we do it without them bumping into each other too much next to each other? Like. Yeah, no, they got room. They got room in between all of them. That is great. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this down just a little bit further because I want to put nose cones on top of all these rockets to make sure that we get enough elevation. What I'm going to be trying to aiming to do is more or less just try to get it at least into orbit so we can get some more science and try to unlock more things for our rockets. You know, better jet engines, better thrusters, better, you know, pop John's pizza. <laughs> you know, we'll just put a little nose cone on here. And we are probably going to need definitely some electrical charge on a lot of this. Uh, we can put a, we can put a little antenna. Let's put a single antenna on one side. Go ahead and flip that around. No, nope, wrong direction, wrong direction. Flip this thing around. This, there we go. Get a nice little antenna go up along the side of this, uh, like almost like, I don't know, structural support beam right on the side of tank to fuselage there. Some good communication because now that we add on some batteries, uh, honestly, I'm just going to add on like, I mean, they're not heavy. They're 0 0.005. So if I add on 80 of these, that's going to be like 0 0.04 tons. So they may not necessarily be, I don't know if they have aerodynamics to them is, uh, I mean, it, it should be fine, but it'll give us a lot of electrical charge to kind of handle what we need to do. So we have these six, we have these six, I'm trying to get the words out. We have these six solid state fuel rocket engines. Basically they are just a light a candle type of situation. And once you light it, they burn all the way out. You cannot stop them, which is why sometimes in rockets, they are 
you know, when they have solid fuel rockets and they launch them, they actually do say light this candle. You know, they have a little bit of comic, you know, relief over in that. So, wow, it was crazy or, you know, other space agencies, but, um, <laughs> you know, so quirky. But uh, yeah, so they love, they go all the way out. So I want all of these six to expand themselves, detach, and then I'm going to use the center core to maybe circularize myself, use this one to kind of give myself some more horizontal velocity. And then on top of that, we're going to decouple. And then we do have, we need to kind of put, let's see here, we need to put this engine, yeah, now here we go, put this engine into a stage of its own. Beautiful. So now we do have the Science Junior. And, you know, where is the Science Junior? I don't want these batteries to be in the way of it. So, you know, why don't we go ahead and do something where I actually take these batteries and put them down there where they're going to be kind of part of the shroud, I suppose. I don't know if I can maybe fairing enable. Yeah, so now if I can maybe do something like this where I attach them onto the bottom side. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that kind of works. Can I enable the fairing again? Yeah, they fit inside. Beautiful. Oh, now that's that's what we're talking. That's that's pod racing right there. That is a true design. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty confident about this type of design. Why don't we go ahead and just give this thing a good old launch? And I love how we still have our little flag right there at the bottom from where we planted it in the first episode down here in the, on our very first science on the landing pad. All right, well, let's give this thing a go and see how well we do. Can we just go straight up, then go sideways and get enough orbital velocity to actually orbit? Because then we can get a whole bunch of science for this, you know? Let's go three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, we might get a lot of speed. Now that, now that is looking good. Look at that center just launch all the way up. Let me go make sure we stay on pro grade. Our electrical charge is doing good. We're at 841 out of 850. So we're already through some of it because we do have a lot of reaction control kind of threat. Oh God, we're tipping, we're tipping, we're tipping, we're tipping, we're tipping, we're tipping. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. It is giving us horizontal velocity. It is kind of giving us a 45 degree inclination, which is going to be great for actually putting us into an orbital trajectory. But uh, that sounds like a lot of words, but you know, it, it's <laughs> it's actually not bad. We were falling over there, but uh, you know what? Hey, that that works. Run environmental survey. There we go. Okay, we I, I ran out of uh, fuel, so detach you. I want them to move away a little bit. Run crew observation. Um, okay, we are flipping over end on end we are not even going to get up to like 70,000 meters. If I just go ahead and light this now, is this going to work? No, it's just slowing me down. We're just facing backwards. We're facing retrograde. <laughs> we flipped over. Come on, get pro grade, get pro grade, get pro grade. Come on, get pro grade. We're just pointing horizontal right now. Get pointing forward. Yeah, we're pointing pro grade now. Now we're talking. I mean, we're not going very far, <laughs> but it's something. Um, you know, at the worst case, we're going to be landing in a new biome. I think I just made a, uh, I think I just made myself a over, over, overly complicated plane at this point. I mean, look at this thing. It's just, it's just a rocket with wings. <laughs> we're, we're not going up. We're more going horizontal. Can I point? I want to point a little bit more up. Let's just point up, 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 up. Come on. Okay. Detach. Um, we're not, def we're definitely not going to get into orbit. Come on. Come on, let's let's do a uh, radial out, radial out. That should be out. Oh, we actually did. We actually did. We got into 75,000 meters. That's going to be our orbit. Oh, fantastic. Hang on a second. So we are going to get into space and then at our apoapsis, I'm going to use the rest of the um, I'm going to use the rest of the fuel to try to just get ourselves into orbit. And you know what? I might even be able to put myself over to the North Pole. Hello, am I going to accidentally achieve today's episode? in the shortest episode in like the shortest way possible i've been recording for like all of like i don't know like six or seven minutes maybe 10 minutes i don't know but like and i'm already gonna be done with it honestly i wonder if that would even be a good episode just 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 be a one and done type of thing just be a one and done like all right one good flight set all right we accomplished it great come back uh for next episode <laughs> you know i i might just be cheeky like that come on come on we can do this we can do this I don't have, you know, it's not going to be a plane though. I don't have any, I don't have any wheels, which is disappointing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually overshoot it a little bit because the atmosphere is going to slow us down by quite a bit. I want to do, I want to do normal because I believe normal points to the left, right? So if I go ahead and do this, it's going to change our inclination to the left hand side. Yeah. Now we're talking and I have run out of fuel right there actually. Okay. So I can't, I don't have a decoupler and I don't have wheels but I do have parachutes and that's what's important. So I may as well go ahead and transmit this now while I have all this electrical data or electrical charge because it really wants me to. Just go ahead and get that down to the station. That way, even if we do end up losing this craft, we uh, 
you know, we can at least, you know, make sure that some of the science did get back. We are up in space now. Not really a whole lot because we aren't much further than we have been before from last episode. May as well just gonna transmit all of this stuff. I don't think I'm even really transmitting any science though. It's like just zero. <laughs> you know, I'm just transmitting zero. Maybe it's like 0 0.12 like type of science type of situation. I mean, hey, it's something. It's something. I mean, we are still up in space. We're at 73,000. We are dropping down. Let me see if I can get enough time to get out here, run a observation. Yeah, I think we got enough time. More than enough time. Uh, get rid of that. What is our observation time running? We are at two seconds. Beautiful. Get a little bit of science. Yeah, now board back up. Oh, God, so many, so many sounds. <laughs> Transmit that. Yeah, we're still getting like zero science here because we already did this last time. That's fine. We are going to be landing on the North Pole. That is going to be probably some good science. Uh, let's go ahead and point back towards prograde. We are we going to be able to fly this thing at all? Should I just go retrograde? Do I want to come into this thing tail first or do I want to come into this thing nose first? You know, that's uh, because I might accidentally increase my distance instead of like decrease. And I want to land. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go retrograde. I want to make sure I land in the North Pole, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go retrograde, make sure that we kind of get some backwards momentum. Because with the wings, we could actually give ourselves a little bit of lift <coughs> to bounce off of the atmosphere and go even further than the North Pole. But we're trying to kind of land right in the North Pole. I honestly may have been able to put me into a orbit if I used all of my fuel. I don't know if I necessarily would have had enough to get myself out of orbit, you know? <laughs> I think that would have been a problem. All right, let's go ahead and get take a look at the ship. We are dropping down into the atmosphere now. We are at 54,000, 50,000. Come on. Uh, yeah, it, we are pointing retrograde. Nice. We are on time acceleration. Let's go ahead and actually slow down time. We got this. I want to make sure that we make sure. Yeah, just come on. Let's land in the snow. Oh, look at that. Look at that sight, though. We even got the ship with the moon in the background rising up over the horizon. It's meant to be Digitees. Honestly, if you're liking the episode, again, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. We are waiting for the competition week to actually complete right now because last week we had a competition week saying that all the videos are going to run for one full, like one full week. And the episodes that get the most views and interaction will get a full week of episodes made out of that game. And right now, I believe Astroneer is in the lead. So if you want a different game to, you know, win, if you, you want to see, check out all that content, make sure to go check it all out. If you want it to win, you have to share it around, try to show other people, get the content spread around. So that way, you know, it gets more views, gets more interaction, more comments, all that fun stuff. You know, all that, all that cool things, all those cool gadgets and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so if you want one of those, you know, favorite, you know, games of yours to maybe win, make sure to share it around. So we are actually coming in here real hot. And my God, look at that is a beautiful. That is this game really is something special, right? It is. It is glorious. It's such an improvement from Kerbal Space Program 1. Like, you know, the first game, it is you could use a lot of mods, but like the base vanilla game, you know, wasn't very appetizing to the eyes, per se, <laughs> you know, to put it lightly. We are actually coming in pretty hot. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. Oh, don't flip. Oh, we lost the wings. We lost the wings. Okay, let, let's, um, uh, I did not, crap. Okay, well, we flipped. That is not good because we are going to be struggling to slow down now without having anything to really to slow down and also to cool down because we're coming in really hot. We're coming in actually really, really hot. That temperature gauge. No, 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 no. <laughs> I got to keep on twisting around. Uh, we, we are slowing down. We're slowing down quite a bit. Slow down quite a bit. We still have more than enough time to cool down. Come on. I'm trying to twist around a little bit to spread the heat around and also get us a little bit more surface area to maybe slow down faster. The faster we slow down, you know, the less we're going to heat up. Although technically speaking, the faster you slow down, the more harder you're hitting the atmosphere, the more you'll heat up. But I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. We got a little bit of a mock diamond back here with kind of how it's like coming back in on itself and hitting the atmosphere around the tail end of the rocket. We're doing good. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so now we need to, uh, we still need to slow down. We still need to slow down in general. Let's pull up the drogue chutes. Ooh, baby. Yeah, come on, come on. You're doing good. You're doing good. Um, you guys don't need to deploy until like a thousand meters, I say. You know, don't bother until we get it to about there. And same fourth, I think this parachute doesn't deploy until a thousand meters either. Okay, nice. Yeah, they're, they're dragging us. They're dragging us. We're coming in towards the Arctic Circle. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, that is such a sight. Oh, that is such a sight right there. I want to make sure that we get environmental survey stuff. 
I don't know if we actually need it here. No, we're still just in the atmosphere. That is beautiful. My God. Coming down into this very mountainous region. <laughs> very mountainous region. Dropping down below the cloud line, the cloud layer, into the atmosphere. The parachutes are starting to open up and deploy. Ah. I mean, this game, it really is. They have done a gr they have done a grand job. It may be a little buggy, it may be a little tweaky around here and there. But you know what? In terms of like graphics, you've done a great job. In terms of like the game's feel and keeping the style without, you know, losing too much to like, you know, the new age of like trying to be refined in terms of like, you know, in the art in general and graphics. You know, I think they did a really good job. I am a little worried about our landing location here. Um. It looks like we're gonna be landing kind of on the side of a mountain in a ravine a little bit. I can tell there's a little bit of a curve to this. <laughs> I honestly, I did not plan for us to get to this to get to the polar region so quick. I, I thought this was gonna be like a, uh, you know, a, a maybe like an hour long episode. And I was gonna cut it down to like 30. Oh, that is yeah, that's coming in fast. <laughs> that was coming in fast. Scrape it. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yep, you're good. It'll buff right out, Captain. <laughs> It'll buff right out. Don't worry. You're good. We're slowing down. Just slowly scrape your way down the mountain. Don't you worry. Uh, we have some science that we can do. <laughs> we have some science from the ground, why don't we? Um, yeah, sure. Run environmental survey. <laughs> My God. Why is that such a loud little ping? Transmit all. There we go. My God. We are slowing down. We have slowed down. The parachutes have cut themselves because we slowed down enough. I am worried about, about standing outside. Wait, not enough electrical charge. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, can we recover, recover, recovery vessel, recover vessel, confirm. <laughs> vessel recovered. That was about to get bad. We were about to start rolling down this mountain and probably blow up. I, I am not about to do that. We just got our science. Okay, how much science did we really get? Let's go to the research and development center. We got 18. We got 18 signs. We got barely anything. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Well, DigiDs, I think that's kind of like how it's going to have to be for today's episode. I tell you what, for next episode, I want to focus on actually getting signs. So I think we're going to build a large rocket, get really high up into space, maybe get into like orbit around the moon. Get a whole bunch of signs from like maybe the space around the moon or in, in space around the moon, if I can talk properly, you know. You know, in space around the moon, get a whole bunch of science around there. Maybe even a high orbit around Kerbin might, you know, count as more extra science as well. And then come on back. You know, we have all the tools available to us. So I'm looking forward to maybe kind of building something like that and look forward to that in the next episode. So thank you, DigiDs. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros, but if there's one thing I can always guarantee you, is I'd be able to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you and bye bye.